Hello, and welcome to the Corpus Linguistics Workshop with Dr. Barami Kiewishai. Today's program will be about how to create a search term in the BNC. If you are searching for a word form, all you have to do is type the word form and click Start Query. However, sometimes you might need to search for a lemma or a grammatical feature. In this case, you need a more sophisticated search term. There is a manual if you click on Simple Query Syntax on the web page. But today, I'm going to show you examples of useful ways to create sophisticated search terms, including lemma and headword, wildcards, word forms with a part of speech tag, multiple words, and alternatives. So, let's get started. If you search for a headword, you need to put curly brackets around the word like this. Now, if you want to see all the word forms that your search term retrieves, go to the drop-down menu and select Frequency Breakdown. Here are all the word forms, the frequencies, and the percentages in relation to all the forms. If you want to see part of speech tag, go to the drop-down menu and select Frequency Breakdown of Word and Tag Combinations. Here, the search term retrieves the word move when it is used as nouns and verbs. Now, if you want to search for a lemma, you have to type the slash and the simplified part of speech tag. For example, if you want to search for a verb lemma of move, then type move slash capital V. If you want to search for a noun lemma of move, then type move slash capital N. Notice that the simplified part of speech is in capital. You can find more information on page 2 of the manual. Next, let's look at wildcards, which refer to unspecified letters, prefix or suffix searches. There are three wildcards, a question mark for a single letter, an asterisk for zero or more letters, and a plus for one or more letters. For example, if we want to search for a word with the suffix nest, just type nest and put an asterisk in front of it like this. Then you can go to Frequency Breakdown to look at all the words. Here they are. Okay. Right. Next, if you want to search for a word form, with a specific part of speech tag, then type underscore after the word and type the part of speech tag. This works with a word form and wildcard searches. For instance, if you want to search for adjectives ending with some, then type asterisk some underscore a j zero for the part of speech tag. And here are the results and you can 
check all the words by going to the frequency breakdown like this. In addition, you can search for multiple words. It's important to note that possessives and contracted forms must be split. For example, if you want to search for the word ain't, you have to type ai and apostrophe t separately like this. And then you get the result. Furthermore, you might want to search for alternatives, like the word way followed by either to all the way followed by off. In this case, you need to put the alternative in a bracket and separate them with a vertical bar, like this. And start query. And here are the results. They also show the keyword in context format as well, like this. Okay. Alright. So those are what I find most useful. But if you want more information, click on simple query syntax here. It will give you all the information about the complicated search terms. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.